You look to the south, what do you see? And in fact, he told us, the jubilation is not limited to this day, not just due, but it is jubilation unlimited. Now, and uh, it has happened. What we are reading in the Bible days, what we have been seeing in the scriptures, through our Lord, the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ, they are coming to practical experiences now. Praise the Lord! In Mark chapter 7, verse 37, and we're beyond measure astonished. Are you not astonished? I say, are we not astonished? Saying, he has done all things. Nothing is left. All things were. He made both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. It is testimony time. But uh, let, 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 me, let me first of all read that before we call some of the testimonies of today. Praise the Lord. This one is an unlimited because from all over Nigeria, even outside Nigeria, we have so many testimonies. This one is, came from Katsina, Sister Adeshua Kenneth Osio from the campus district of Katsina State. He said he, he wedded, she wedded 2011 and suffered a series of miscarriages. And not only that, well, in June 2012, the first celebration, the man of God came up to say, Vibrots shall be turned to babies. If you remember is that he said it. This her sister was kind and agnized to have vibrot. And by the special grace of God, we discover and March this year, 19th, by the time it was kind, they discovered that the vibrant has turned to a bouncing fine baby boy. And she delivered safely. Now she has a bouncing baby boy. Praise the Lord. Not only for her, we also have another sister. That would organize that sister Florence Taiwa Adeoye from Ayobo Central District in Ayobo. She got married in 2007 and she was planned to have vibrots and she was told to go for the operation. But because of the package that the Lord was having for her in last June, she reluctantly refused to go for the operation. And she came for the June celebration 2012. Can you guess what happened? I said, can you guess what happened? She took in after this uh, June celebration. And by the grace of God, she's having a bouncing, miraculous baby girl. And the name of the girl is Eunice. In the Ola Ulua Femi Praise the Lord. You see, by the special grace of God, God has visited, not only the power life has visited the nation. He has visited us once again. And we can see what the Lord is doing. Your portion is there. I say your portion is there. By the special grace of God, we have some current testimonies of today. We are going to take a few of them. So I will call them to come up, to come and share they are testimonies with us. I first of all call on Julian Itai from Cross River State. Please, we are, let her come up. Itai from Cross River State. Julian Itai from Cross River State. Please, let's lead her here so that she can come and share a testimony. It's jubilation. Jubilation unlimited. Now and ever. Where is she? Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. See her coming. See her walking. See her walking. Praise the Lord. It is great. It is wonderful. 
We are privileged that we are experiencing, we are seeing this in our own time. Wonderful. See her coming up by herself, walking. Ah, I can see crushes. Wonderful. I say wonderful. I say wonderful. And as we are embracing and we are praising the Lord, your all will be happening in the name of Jesus. If nobody will live here without a miracle. I say you will not live here without a miracle. The man of God has said, you look to the east, miracle. To the west, answer me. To the north, to the south, all around. Everybody answer me. I say all around. Praise the Lord. It is happening. And it will continue until Jesus comes. So give her the mind to share with us. Wonderful God. It's a miracle God. The God can never fail at all at all. The God will remain forever. Praise the Lord. My dear sister and brother in, in Christ. I'm standing here before God. My name is Juliana Ntaji from Cloud River State, Ogoja, Buki. I come from. My sister start me. Praise the Lord. It's a tragedy. A tragedy hold me five years now when I struggle. I'm suffering from five years. My son, who died in the canoe, is here as I'm suffering. Come and tell me. He said that we should go to the hospital for Kano. We can't go. When we read the hospital, where they work for, for both, he said that they went and told us to me. He said, Madam, you are going to do the operation for the crisis. That much it cost me. He said that we should pay one million. The one million. My brother and I start to cry. I said, million, when am I saying? When I could go do me a prayer? When I cry on that day, they pity me. The daughter said that I cannot do. We should go. My son said, okay, daughter, let us go back and try. When we see money, we'll come back. When we can't go back home. Many mouths, they are telling my son. He said, I carry your mother, I go. When we go for the native ones, where they are draw me, they say that I went to draw the arthritis. And why that man they draw for the bone, those when they get acid there, where the bone cut, they are trying, he draw, he finish. The arthritis, the man can't they do. When he can't they do, they think can't they walk. And nothing get up, and nothing stand, and nothing move, and say, God, I don't have anyone to save you. They think they walk, they go. So that yes, my son can carry me come out. When you go, they say that the TV Jeshua, they work for the, the Lagos. He said that you go for TV Jeshua. My brethren, when I pay the money rich for TV Jeshua, when I they come and take, they look my things all. They look the doctor report. All oh, everything correct. When all she had come out. They see me, they say, Mama, move. I try my carry my sick. I try, I move, I move, I move. When I move, they say that, Madam, go back and sit down. Last Thursday, they do the same. Come in Thursday, this I call, the Lord, they will pass. They do the same. So, when they go do wonderful, my son, we think they can do now. I said, He was at a deeper life. He called me for a phone. He said, Mama, today, they do this, uh, their prayers, the dear. When they do their work here for their church, I should ask any one of them for this place when I will know, make a follow and come. 
God's all kind that they has when I lodge, when they lodge when I day. Uh, one hour, uh, this my my day there. When I ask my language, he said that I they find deeper life person where go carry me go for that their church. He said to their 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 mama here, if they work for deeper life, we should carry me come. That's why yesterday my mama carry me come here. Praise the Lord. So what the Lord do for me yesterday and today? I said, I thank you. I thank God. And the God today I'm walking. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me just summarize the testimony of our sister. She was brought from Cross River State to Lagos to be and was kept at synagogue church. And then a sister came and invited her to this program. See her now. She's now working. She was brought here. She couldn't work. And she had been on these crushes for the past five years. But now she can walk. Please, I want to appeal to the church, the Palai Bible Church. Let's be generous to the whole world. Let's be generous to this nation. And go and find them wherever they are. And bring them to where? The place of miracle. The Palai Bible Church. Let's listen to the next testimony. Hallelujah. Children of God, praise the Lord. I have a God that cannot fail. My name is Sister Roya. I'm from FHA Districts, Alimosho. Praise the Lord. I got this accident September last year on Okada. I was going to the bank and the bus just kicked us away. And I was hospitalized for two months and two weeks. I was unable to walk. I was just sitting in one place. All I was doing was there. I could not take my bath. Praise the Lord. As I was there, my brothers and sisters, even the person that was taking care of me, the man first stroke, and he was carried to Kotunu. Then November 23, I was discharged, and I came back home. Then on the 22 December, when I was sleeping, I just saw a hand hit me on my leg, and this leg just disorganized. It seems as if I have not treated it. Praise the Lord. Then, the wonders of the cross. That December retreat, I could not come. So I asked a brother to get me the CD. My brothers and sisters, inside my room, when I listened to that message, that God that cannot fail, that God that cannot fail, that God that cannot fail. As our pastor was, as our GS was just saying it, it seems as if he was running a commentary. The God that cannot fail Nana, he cannot fail Jacob, he cannot fail Paul. And I started following it. Before you know, my legs started shaking inside my room. Praise the Lord. My legs started shaking. My son ran to my neighbor and said, I don't know what is wrong with my mommy before my neighbor comes. My brothers and sisters, strength came into this leg. Strength came, and I started working gradually. Then my crushes, I dropped my crushes. Praise the Lord. The other Thursday of the same week, in my district, when I had the message, the power night message on Thursday, God touched the leg. Today, God touched it finally. When the pastor says, I will confirm my word. He said, Jesus will confirm his word with compassion. Yesterday night, as I was praying, I saw myself running. I said, ah, then I sat down. Since we have been coming to this mess, uh, program, I'm always inside the vehicle. I don't come down. So sisters, we say, ah, Sister Roya, so come to the hall now, come to the hall. Yesterday, I saw more courage and I come to the hall. And the power of God touched me. I wanted to come out there yesterday to give testimony. I said, I will come out today. And as I was inside the vehicle again, I sat down. I still hear that same message. That God of compassion will confirm his word. Then I said, ah, I wanted to come out. My husband said, ah, God, I've touched you yesterday now. 
I said, no problem. When the moderator was saying, if you are inside the vehicle, come out and walk. Anywhere you are, come out. That is how I came out from the vehicle. I saw myself running, not only walking. Praise the Lord. I was running. Praise the Lord. Praise it's the marvelous. living Jesus. It's marvelous. If you know what it takes for somebody to sit down for, so, for eight months or two months or three months without working, my sister, you will give glory to God because you can walk. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Why the next person is coming, you need to hear this one. What did I say? I said you need to hear this one. Brother Jeremiah Adeshri of my district, Ali Moshogru, just got into a vehicle on 10th of May 2013 around 1 p.m. And uh, he got into the hand of the ritual killers and kidnappers. And he said there were so many when they took them to the place where they were to sacrifice them. And then they were bringing them in one by one, one by one, one by one. When it got to his turn, somebody started screaming from inside saying, Don't bring allow, don't allow Kumuyi here, don't allow Kumuyi here, don't allow Kumuyi here, don't allow Kumuyi here. Praise the Lord! And they hurriedly carried him. I showed him way out. Who will stand when the mountain move? It shall move. Praise the Lord. Let's listen to our sister. Let's listen to our own testimony. The God of compassion, the God of deeper life, the God of my Father and the Lord Kumuyi have done it for me. Praise the Lord. By God's grace, I am Sister Glory Salami from Femo District Shomolu Group. Last month, the devil wanted to snatch my husband. He died totally. I was a place of work. And breakthrough was to take place on Friday. So on Thursday by 4 precisely p.m., I was called by a known person. Do you know this man? Call Salami Alawa Izika. I say, yes, it's my husband. They said, run from anywhere you are. We cannot see him. He's almost dead. I said, God, angels, hold on for me. My father in the Lord of January said, there be no laws, there be no limitations. I'm not taking no for this. My husband must be, he must leave. I started coming. A lot of calls. Policemen started calling. There is no life again. I said, Jesus of God, hold on for me. Behold, when I got to the place, he looked by Junction there. I met him on the floor. Water all over him. There was no life. I started speaking in tongues. I said, my God, where are you? I threw my back away. They said, where are you? Where are we carrying him to? I said, the solo general hospital. Let's go. His vehicle couldn't go. There was no taxi. The policeman said, this is an ambulance. Why are we waiting? There is no life. They threw him into the vehicle. I had to go along with them. Before going, I called my airpads. I said, I'm bringing my, I'm bringing my husband unconscious. Admin noses, my husband is unconscious. Hold on for me. When I got there, there was no life. I called my three pastors. I said, see my situation. Pastor Roku said, he is in dialysis already. Do you have the program in your hand? I said, yes. He said, place it on him. I place it on him. I was looking. 
I was calling, God of mercy, God of fair mercy, give me opportunity. Let me testify again. Let me stand before you and glorify your name. And behold, around 12 midnight, there was no life. A woman came up to me and said, God, come, you are a child of God. His soul rests in your hand. Command his soul to come back. I commanded his soul. He made a noise. And daughters rush out and say, what is it? I said, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. By 6 a.m. Praise the Lord. Up. Praise the Lord. It was the policemen that were disturbing me, saying, go and give thanksgiving in your church. And they continue to call. The God that showed me mercy will show you mercy in Jesus' Praise name. the Lord. This is jubilation unlimited. Miracle unlimited. Let the next, uh, the next person be coming. Why coming? I want to read this testimony to us from Cameroon. Pastor Taria Michael from Cameroon. He happened to be one of the overseers there. He suffered a sudden growth on his chest for two years. But during the night of wonders at the last message, the man of God's prayer bombarded the chest of this uh, pastor. And what, will happen, what happened to that uh, growth? It disappeared. I say it disappeared. Is there anything still remaining there? The man of God will soon come up. Nothing. Nothing. Either here or all over the places where they are, where they are connecting to us. Anything against the will of God will disappear in Jesus' name. Our sister, share your testimony with us briefly. Praise the Lord. Our Lord is good. My name is uh, Sister Rebecca Odu. By the grace of God, I'm born again and sanctified. This is my son, Daniel, fell sick in the month of uh, January. Seriously, stomach pain. So the stomach pain, I bought a warm medicine. I thought that maybe it's warm. And the stomach continue. So I took him to the hospital. When we went to the hospital, after the examining of the doctor, he said that it's an appendix. That we should take him to operation immediately. That the, uh, the uh, appendix is already swallowed and it's already wrapped. And he give, uh, give him some tablet and uh, uh, he give him a... Uh, is on tablet and by the grace of God my husband spent about 5,000 immediately so my brother he gave us the paper that we, we took him to operation at the Highland I tell my husband that uh, there is a program ahead of us we should believe God his name is Daniel they throw Daniel into the lion's pit lion could not be able to swallow Daniel so therefore this boy you are not going to die and I will not take you to uh, hospital for operation I will took you to Dr. Jesus that said Daniel free out of the lion feet. Praise the Lord. So we, are, we came here. The boy cannot be able to eat, neither to drink. So that very day, a day before the program, in the night, my son was about to give up. But I tell God that his name is Daniel. If the lion cannot be able to swallow Daniel, my son is not going to die tonight. Tomorrow morning we are going for the program and my son will leave. So when we came here, I lie down at the back of her, one, spent cloth on the floor. I tell my son that he should lie down. I said, Dr. Jesus, I am here for you. If this boy will die, let him die in your house. I said, God, I'm waiting for you. And immediately, the man of God come out. He said, if you are here and you have any swallow in your body, rise up your hand and then you lay your hand upon. I said, my God, I began to see a tear of joy. That Dr. Jesus can able to locate me where I am in the back of her. Wow. My brother, I tell my son, get up on the floor. I say, I lay my hand up. Huh? I say, raise up your hand with the tear. With the tear of joy because Jesus has located me where I am in the back of her. Wow. Immediately, the man of God pray, you swear no. Vanish in the name of Jesus. I believe. And immediately, the swallow vanish. And my son that you cannot be able to eat, 
The very moment say, Mommy, I wanted to eat. On Sunday like this, I'm marching with my son, with his singing, I'm praising God. God will wipe away my tears. Praise the Lord. Praise if you are the here Lord. Today, whenever you are from her one to her nine, God that visits me in the month of January, you visit you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is great. We have so many testimonies. And uh, this will be the last one we are going to take by the special grace of God. And as we go, I have a special announcement for us from the man of God. Something special. Praise that you will leave this place. The Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. My dear sisters, my name is Rebecca Mbufe from Agility. Last month, I traveled home to see my mother because she was sick. They call upon me that she will come, which I travel. I spent only four days. When I came back from that village, I began to notice something moving in my body. Something was just moving all over my body, even my hand. I cannot clap. I cannot do anything. It will be as my hand is trying to stiff. All my body will just be like as there's engine in my body moving around me. So I went to see. I went to the hospital which I did a uh, test. So the doctor recommended medicine for me, which I bought. After I finished the drugs, there's nothing uh, done. That thing is still continuing disturbing me. So there was my colleagues that is a member of this church. And I tell her, I said, my sister, this is what is disturbing me. He said, okay. He said, if you invite me here, will I come? I said, why not? So she gave me the handbill that should come today, yesterday. So yesterday I came. So as the man of God were preaching, I said, God, today I'm hearing about the miracle of this deeper life. God, I, I said, God, I want to experience this miracle. So yesterday, the man of God was saying that every mountain in our life, mountain of sickness, today, that yesterday the mountain will be vanished away. So as we went back to where we are sleeping, I continued reciting it. So this morning again I came. I was sitting there. In fact, the last uh, prayer, the man of God was saying, if there's anything that is going on in your body, don't believe God. I was praying. I said, God, you know why I'm here. Oh. You know why I'm here. Please, don't let me to go back with this sickness. So I was crying, telling God. All of a sudden, I feel something move out of my body with force. And there's a heat. Praise heat the Lord. Immediately. I said, this God who has healed me, so his name will not be glorified in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. This is marvelous. We have so many testimonies. So many. We have kidney problems solved. We have moving objects removed. We have somebody here that was brought as uh, uh, Juliana Ntaji was brought from a synagogue church who got a healing. Praise the Lord. Uh, you know, I want to give us a special from the man of God. Are you ready to take it? I said, are you ready to take it? We're here last time when somebody said ordinary program. I mean the uh, uh, ambil that he put it on his hand, holy hand. What happened to that holy hand? He did what? He disappeared. I knew the man of God had that. And now there's a special package from him. Package, monthly package. So that as you live here, anywhere you go, with this paper, miracle. I said with this publication, what? So we are going to be swimming inside, what? The man of God is coming up to give the final cup. Praise the Lord. So this will be available in all our locations. A special publication known miracles as of hold it will happen it i said it will happen can't we put our hands together for jesus so this paper is available 
and then we are going to get our home from all our every from all distance in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord.